I go switch. And I run. Okay, so IP route OSPF. And if you see here, right now my OSPF is getting a route from both of the VSs with the equal cost because I have not applied any route policy. Right. So what I'll do is that I'll do the route policy, which is a part of my localized policy, to say that when the route are being inserted from this, they should be inserted with the metric of 10. Right. And when the route uh, routes are being inserted from this, they should be inserted with the metric of 20. The policy framework. In the policy framework, we do have the two type of the policy. Uh, which are being configured on the vManage. One is the localized policy, which basically directly go and sit on the VS into the running configuration of the VS, right? Uh, and that's where you have the local control policy, which is related to the route map, route policy, and all those stuff. Data policy, which is a QoS, Mirror, and CLs are always directly configured on the VS. Then there is a second type of the policy, which is we call it a you know a centralized policy, right? We call it a centralized policy. The centralized policy itself is being divided into the three policies, uh, centralized control policy, centralized data policy, and centralized app route policy. What does it mean by that? The running configuration of this one will be seen on a big smart. Uh, but, you know, this policy is going to sit on the, the, on the big smart into the running configuration. However, centralized data policy and the centralized app, app aware policy is going to sit on the VH. I mean, is going to seen into the vSmart, but a copy of that one is being sent by the vSmart using the OMP to the VH. So that VS got that running copy, can follow that. And if the VS got decommission, the, the, you know, that configuration will never seen on the VH, right? So what does it mean by that? This is a, a policy which is being going to affect the global changes, right? So if you are applying the centralized apply out policy, it is going to directly you know, uh, go ahead to impact your entire, you know, uh, the band which is coming under that centralized network policy, global changes, right? So you have to be very, very careful when you are doing the centralized policies, right? And then we have uh, next the, the how to structure those. That's where we have a list policy definition and policy application. List indicate that how, what the categorization you want to do it and you want to refer that. And then that uh, list will be further uh, used by policy definition, same like a route map. So you create that policy definition, call out that list and all those stuff. And then further, this will be applied to the device. That's what we call it, the policy application, right? So where you want to apply that, right? Next, we have how to construct it is the, we, we, this is how we configure a data prefix list. We give the, you know, uh, IP address prefix list and the you know, port number. And then we have another different type of the prefix list, site list, t lock list, VPN list. You can configure any type of what you, whatever you need. It's not mandatory. You have to have all of them, whichever is required for you to match the policies. I mean, match the traffic or match the routing, right? Next, what we have is the uh, construction of the policy. That's where you have policy type. You call out that, you know, VPN list or whatever, and then you take it once So that's how we we can basically construct the policy and can you know further call out the match route or match you know lock or VPN and can you know, set the actions and all that stuff. Right. Next, this is where we apply it. So what type of the policy it is? It is a control policy or the data policy. So the difference between the control policy and data policy. Control policy is a more on a control plane point of view. The data policy is something which is overwriting the control policy in a manner so that the data traffic can does not follow the the existing control policy or the you know, OMP routing it can use its own mechanism whichever you have defined in the data policy right so let's say for an example if your default route is being learned from the OMP right which is a part of your control policy but what if you want to send internet or HTTPS traffic only by the local exchange that's where ideally what will happen it will follow the uh, default route which is pointing towards some other remote location but since you have a data policy that data policy will override that mechanism and for that specific categorization your traffic will go to the local exit or whatever mechanism you have it, right so that's what we have talked so far uh, I think now time to you know, uh, do the nap so what we will do as in a first policy uh, is so here we go in the policies okay 
and policies what we will do is that we will define we will click on add policy okay let me show you the localized policy first okay so i'll go in the localized policy okay add policy and that's where i will define that what i want to match or what i i mean that's this is a, a list right so you can see that as path list you can say community you can data prefix list extended community class map mirror policy and prefix okay uh, policy and prefixes so here i'll show you the localized policy and what i want to do if you go back on my course switch and i will okay so ip route ospf and if you see here right now my ospf is getting a route from both of the vss with the equal cost because i have not applied any route policy right so what i'll do is that i'll do the route policy which is a part of my localized policy to say that when the route are being inserted from this they should be inserted with the metric of 10 right and when the route uh, routes are being inserted from this they should be inserted with the metric of 20 so what i will do i will configure a route map and set the value so that this vs can impose the traffic to this device this vs only clear simply creating a route map and code system okay so uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going on a be manage since this time i'm not defining anything because i i don't want to match anything i want to see everything to match right so i'm not concerned about defining a list right now next what i i need to do in a qos map policy right i don't i'm not doing a qos part so i can move on to next step so now up here what we have it says the add access control list policy or add a device policy right device access policy which i don't want to do either the control list or the device access policy uh i want to go on the next where i want to spend a time so this is a route policy so what i need i want to define the route policy which i can further apply on the each vs to you know uh, redistribute the route okay so i can simply go ahead and add route policy so create i see redistribute We are going to do it. Wait. Redistribute. Redistribute. OMP into OSP. Okay. So this will be my route policy name, which means equal to the route map name. Okay. And in the description, I'm saying that uh, same thing. Okay. And see. Okay. Now sequence. So I will play on a sequence number one. and i'll see match nothing i mean i mean everything to be accepted right so i'll see exam accept and with that set a metric okay and what metric should i set that should be i don't have option to so i'll see set metric 10 and here i'll see primary all right okay so let me modify a little bit this one primary r i primary distribute one to two spf right so i'm saying that while you are redistributing within the primary route map set this condition okay i can set any of the other attribute if i want since i don't need it i'm simply saving now the default action i'm saying that s f okay any everything would be matched on the first one because i don't have any match condition but i'm just just importing everything okay so let's do this and save the route policy so so far i have created a one route policy which says the primary redistribute over to osp up i need to create another one which should be for a secondary vs that's where i can you know segregate so what i'm going to do it i'm going to oh there's a big option for copy okay no worries i'll add new and once again i'll copy the name secondary underscore rid underscore omp to osp okay all right and here i will say sequence 
in the sequence not match everything see xnsf and in the xnsf set the metric 20 okay and default action Asset. save save route policy i'll rename this little bit you know send both of them now if i'll so you can see i have created two route map one is a primary another one is a second okay now what i'm going so so far i'm, I'm doing on a big man is I'm, I'm not going to apply right away now next it says that what should be your policy name localized policy name which will be a consolidation of all these can be consolidation of all these stuff uh interest group or uh, class qos part or access list or you know route policy so all of four can be merged within this one so uh, i mean what should be the name of that policy right so what i'll do is that i'll give the name here and i'll simply keep it simple saying that localize policy okay I'm saying that localized policy was a one. It says it doesn't accept the required can input only the alphabetic hyphen underscore. Or this one is not accepted. I'll say localized policy. Localized policy. Okay. And say policy. Okay. So if I'll do this preview now, if you can see what it is saying. That it have the route pol under the policy. It has constructed the two route map. If you take the previous example, what are the two route map? Is one is the primary RID OMP to OSP, which says sequence one X and SF, and set the metric train. Right, default action also accept. Here, secondary says that this and metric twenty. Now, what I can do further is that I'm going to call this out localized policy in my template, so this can be seen in the configuration of the devices. Right, so I can go ahead. I'll copy this policy name quickly and we'll go in my templates. Inside of the template, this work, this is the one we've worked. I'll say edit. Now I'll go in the additional part and here in the additional, there is a component called a policy. In the policy, I'll call out the localized policy and we'll say update, right? Once I click on update, what it is going to do, it is going to push this creation of a route map on a VS configurations, right? So I'll click on this. Required field is missing for a DC one DSG. Let me see what the one is. Ah, G zero slash four. Now, if I look on the let's see VR one DSG config. And if you see the config diff overall side by side, go down and you see the policy section. This is the one which is going to apply on the device, right? This section will apply on device BR1 BSP and other devices as well where it is you know, attached. So it is just going to create this into on the VH, right? So what I'll do, I'll go ahead, configure, confirm. So in, in summary, actually, what we did is that we have configured the route policy on this device, on this device and other VS devices, but we have not applied for a redistribution location, right? So until we don't apply route map, it doesn't affect, right? It's just creating a route map, right? So to apply the route map, what we will do, we will basically go ahead and call out that. Okay? So I'll go ahead and do this one. It's going on. You'll be so running. And if you go in the run section, in the running section, there should be somewhere at the policy part. So you can see the policy here. So both the route map are being created on the VH. Either of the route map can be applied, which is not being applied so far. So to validate it as being applied or not, you can go a little upside and can check the VPN 10, the VPN 0. So in this section, if you see the you know uh, redistribute route policy is not applied. So what we need to do, 
we have to apply the sell policy on each vehicle, right? And what has to be there? It can be a primary or secondary, right? So what can we do to you know do the, the apply that? We have to go on the uh, manage, go inside the template, go inside the feature, and where it will be applied under the OSPF, right? Because that's where you are redistributing OSPF. Right? So I'll go ahead. We'll click on edit. And here in the redistribution section, this is the redistribution section. You go inside this one since you are not doing any route policy, you have to say route policy, but it should be a device specific OSPF redistribute route policy, right? And that's it. Yeah, save changes. Now you can see what it says that when you are redistributing a route map, you should fill up this variable, and that's how your primary and secondary will be chosen. So let's go ahead. Now it is asking me to fill the variable information for all of them. So what I'll do is sort of noise. I'll start from here only. BR1. What is the route map name? PRI, RID, OSP underscore OSPF, RD underscore OSP, OSPF. Good. B side, of course, will be secondary. And this should be a case sensitive. If that would be error, then it would you know, reject that. You will you get error. You will get error for that, right? Second, we are you know, OSPF. This one, this should be a secondary, which is a B side. This is A side, so this would be primary. Right? And I can go ahead to apply it, configure, confirm, apply. So what will happen now, this OS, OMP to OSP will be redistributed with a set of uh, metric while redistributing. Okay, so before, so I read out OSPF. So you see that 1677214, and only one of, I mean, the traffic is being load balanced between both the vehicles. Now we want, we are expecting to have only the one next to it, okay? Let's see. So your device is already successful. Now we can quickly see the output of it. And you can see the difference, right? So we see that 20 second back this route has been modified, right? The metric is 10, right? And everything is pointed out towards to this, which is a 192, 10.9.1, which is a primary for the you know data center. So any of the redistributed route will have this metric. Right now, if I want to verify the other path, I can do so IP OSPF database external 172 100.10.0. And if you look on the, the you know, database, what database is saying that this is the advertising router, which is 1098.21.7, which is a BS1 advertising with the metric of 10. Right, other one is advertising with the metric of 20. Which is 1098.21.8, which is a B side BS of the same set. Right? So that's how you can clearly see that what I took this right?